Hi folks, I'm Mark Lapierre, Software Engineering Test, and I'm going to show you how to use GitLab QA, our test orchestration tool, to run our end-to-end -end tests against a self-managed instance. So GitLab QA, as I mentioned, is our test orchestration tool. If you want to learn more about the tool, what it does, how it does it, all the different options of the different tests you can run, and then please check out the links in the video notes. So for now, Firstly, I've exported the credentials for the user that the test is going to run as. Then I execute the GitLab QA command, tell it to run the test instance any scenario. That tells it to run our standard test suite. And the EE option tells it to use the enterprise edition tests. And I have the instance running at gitlab.test. And so GitLab QA pulls the Docker image that contains the tests and then executes the command that starts the tests running in a Docker container. Now I'm going to stop that because there are about 276 tests and I don't want to <laughs> keep you watching while we wait for all of those to run. So instead what I'll do is I'll run one specific test. So there's two things I've changed here. One, I've added a version to the release here. So I'm telling the tool to run the tests as they existed when version 13.6.2 was released. So this is what you'll want to do if you're running tests against a particular version. You'll tell it to run the tests from the version that you have installed. And I've also told it to run the test from one specific file. So that's only run the two tests that are in this spec file to test that we can create the merge request. The tool uses rspec, so I can pass any other rspec commands, any other rspec options. So in this case, I'm telling it to run the test that it tagged smoke. So we have a subset of tests that we use as smoke tests, and we can run those specifically. And that's something that won't take quite as long. Still uh, a few minutes. So I'll show you the same thing that I've run here again. Yeah, five, almost six minutes to run the smoke test. The command I used here was the same, except I told it to run the test against our staging environment. Yeah, and there, the, the smoke tag, and you can see 19 tests ran, two are pending. So these two are just in quarantine, you can see that. So yeah, those are tests that we are not currently running. All right, but yeah, that's a quick rundown. Uh, as I said, the links contain more information, but uh, yes, please check out those links and uh, get in contact with us in quality if you have any questions. Thanks.